you know, in, in recent years, we've supported uh, local developers in Indonesia in building out, you know, tools and open contracting. We've seen the government of Nepal take our aid management platform open source tool and, and convert it into their own uh, new adaptation of that system. We've worked closely with the government of Ethiopia in strengthening the takeover of their aid management platform by a local team of developers within the ministry. How do you see this kind of, you know, localization of talent also shifting the way that we can think about, you know, how we deploy technology and how we ultimately hand it over for local ownership? I think the, the, the main change uh, or, or the larger impact on, on how we do things is how thorough we need to be when we document and hand over things. Um, uh, I've participated of many of those projects that that you mentioned, and I will add that uh, I was personally involved in the in the handed over hand, handing over the ODA data tool for Mozambique, the where we were able to train two people to support it, and this was in 2010. And as of yesterday, the site is still running, it's still being maintained by the same team, and it's the tool is a bit dated. But it's still working, and it, does, it doesn't need to be upgraded until until the, the needs change. Um, I believe that what what is happening now is that the that pool of talent is is made a, it's bigger now. It's uh, um, it's still a challenge to to find and and make sure that that um, you are assessing the right set of skills, which is something that we try to identify early on. Uh, And what has worked in most of those projects that you mentioned is just be able to um, get the local team as embedded as possible in our day-to-day processes. We don't have a perfect process, but we do have a process that has worked for us and we bring this to our, our development by uh, so to, to the local team so they can take it, adapt it, and trim it as, as they want to make sure that it fits their context. We have ours, we offer it, and we work with them to improve it so it fits their better in a way that uh, we can uh, hand over projects and you know feel a bit of pride when we see that something that we built has, has something built on top of it and it's still used.